Hello YouTube, this is a tutorial on how to use the rope plugin. I'd say this is a very helpful tutorial. This can uh, help with multiple things. It's good for especially uh, like wiring and hanging wires and uh, it's overall very helpful and fast to use. I mean you don't have to waste your time sitting there trying to make C-frame vines that are very detailed because it'll probably make you, it would probably take a couple minutes to make them. But with this plugin you can actually make it in a couple seconds. With mostly two clicks and a couple editing. Alright, so again I'm using this little base plate I'm using for my other tutorial videos, so uh so you examples of this. So this plugin is called Curve. I'll show you where to get it. Go to catalog, plugins, and it should be on the most popular one. It's uh right here. Wizzle draw toolbar uh draw slash curve and uh I believe if you search up rope it should pop up right here okay so let's go back so by default your uh, settings up here are like this uh, so the default settings are kinda like this I have my segment on 20 uh, basically increasing your segments will increase the amount of detail in the curve but uh, 20 by default is pretty good especially if you're making uh, small curves kinda like this one um, but if you want to do more detail, you could do that. It might cause lag if you're doing too much, though. So let's do the comparison right here. And as you can see, it's a little bit sharper when you do more blocks. But is it really that much of a difference? I would say not really. I'd rather have less parts. Alright. So there's different types of uh, curves. So you can do one that slopes down a lot. And you can also do... I believe this one is similar to the other one, except it gradually goes up like that. Hmm. Okay. So let's go back to quadratic. So you can also change your line width. So let's make it 2 instead of 0 0.2. Uh, this will look kind of weird, but yeah, you can do something like that. Uh, I wouldn't mess around with this at all. So gravity pull, you can change it. So it can slope even more. So let's change this back to 0 0.2. So as you can see, gravity's really gonna affect that line, and it's gonna go sloping way down. And uh, so let's put our gravity at one, and show you how little this slopes. And there's actually also a way to make it so it, it curves up. So how you do that is you put your gravity as a negative to whatever you want, as you please, and do something like that. And that looks pretty dang awesome. I can actually see um, this being helpful for like building roofs and home stores and stuff because you can uh, uh, resize that and then turn it into something and put glass in the middle. That's what I was thinking. Um, so let's stop experimenting with gravity. So preview, true or false? That's just uh, whether or not it will show you the line I think. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for the stats, actually. And uh, so how do you use this is basically you just click and click. There you go. And mouse target. I'm not sure how this works. Um, uh, so connect the other ones, I would say. Maybe. I think it targets it. Okay. I, I, I can kind of see where that's going now. I think it targets a block. That's what it does. So instead of it kind of being off-centered, it will target a block and go inside it. So that's a basic rope creating tool tutorial for the, for you. Even though this is just random lines, this actually looks kind of awesome. Anyway, that's the rope... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Plug-in tutorial for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share as well. And feel free to comment. Uh, if you want me to review any other plugins, go ahead and leave a comment or message me on Roblox. Hey, may you review this plugin and make a video on it? And uh, sure, I'll do it. And uh, there's a lot of plugins out there that can help you with building. I'd recommend you pick up quite a few. This is all the plugins I use. I don't probably use a couple of them. But, you know, they're just good to have around anyway. A lot of them are especially useful for speeding up your building or making your building more convenient or even making your building better in that sense.
most of it is probably making the time less or doing some kind of advanced function that's really hard to do it yourself. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you guys around.